All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Revolutionary, Revolutionary Girl, Girl Utena, Utena, episode 20. 20. Is He's this back. fifth element? Because mm-hmm. everything is just green, green, green. Super green. Super green. Super, Crystal. Super, super duper green. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. The, the bitch. He's here. He's back. And and uh, the... the, the uh, you know, could totally just be reading too, too much into that expression. Mm-hmm. I know I am, in fact. But what what the fuck was up with that expression and how he like responded to walk by entering? Because like, uh, come on, what does this mean? Just Why is somehow he back? or other? Yeah, green patine pertur- returned. You know. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Does that mean we're gonna get like a toga con- a confession to toga or something? Or or is he just over him? Does he realize that toga is just not into him? And you know, and 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 he he can do better. <laughs> I love how we're so hopeful for a change, Sayonji. <laughs> there's been literally nothing. No, to I know suggest. there has been no evidence, absolutely whatsoever. He whatsoever, was the most worthless dog shit, just horrible person I in mean, the Toga's, beginning. Well, okay, in yeah, the beginning, in the of beginning of the yes, anime. yes, yes. Because yeah. there was a point when I thought Toga was going to be a giga chat of of silliness, but yeah, I mean, he's and still now, silly. But. Does Sayonji just feel normal, or right? Given that we have like Akio. Right, like Sionji feels rather tame and functional, all things considered. Like, like Utina, what a show! Yeah, what a show! Mm-hmm. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> Whoa, getting some heat waves. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, it's that Wakaba has already been mind-controlled by the what's-their-faces, and so that's the only reason why she's going to see Sionji. Brooding. Oh. Okay. Maybe not. I have... I... For Wakaba's sake, I, have... I... Oh, and then locks the door! I have thoughts. <laughs> but he said home. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Today? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They've been living together. Holy shit. She's been slowly but surely just being like, I can fix him. Oh my god. Because of his latent feelings for Toga? And had no parents, for sure. Holy shit. He's being polite. That's, That's at least good. What, what is this considerate Sayonji? He's so defeated. Yeah. The betrayal by Toga was just so much. Uh huh. Now, maybe Wakaba can tell him, like, no, Toga was actually just being terrible. <laughs> what is happening? The pose she fell yeah. into. Yeah, because we still have the context of the previous episode. Uh huh. <clears throat> Wait. <laughs> I I have no grid for anything that's going on right now. Holy shit! This is incredible. I mean, I always knew that I wanted to watch Sayonji crawl, but... <laughs> oh my god. Wait. I just realized his uniform is up there. Yeah. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit, this is incredible. <laughs> wow. I I what, you called it. I mean the the this Yeah. They actually have been living together this whole time. And watch, he has no interest in her at all. Nope. Although although even if he doesn't have interest in her, I could see him getting 
by now, potentially actually caring about her. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Baka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is is that going to be brought up? Watch, they're going to have a good conversation about boundaries and and past hurt. Oh, I I wish I could cope as much as you could about <laughs> Sionji. <Just. laughs> I have my own club to attend to. Oh my god. Oh. Our psychic abilities have told us that Sionji is somehow involved. Yep. Impossible. <clears throat> He's clearly dead. But He's like, out of the school. Okay, but but what if he ended up then opening up to her about like, I really like Toga, but then he treated me this way and I don't know if it's, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it'll break her heart. Because she then, likes Sionji. No, no, I know. But then. <laughs> but that would still be a genuine connection of some kind. <laughs> of then her like. You know. <laughs> He's just lying there. Ah, uh, she's succeeding so much because she feels yeah. so mm -hmm. complete in her purpose. Right. What? Holy shit. What? <laughs> she's 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 learning for two. <laughs> 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 and in fact, uh, Sanji's going negative right now, yeah. so. <laughs> uh, what, um. <laughs> but, do you really think so? She's so happy. Mm -hmm. No, why? <laughs> and why is she in that pose? Utuna is just stretching herself, you know? Mm -hmm. What? Why does he get this song? He doesn't deserve this song. Yeah. I know we're talking about Wakaba, but... A heart for Toga. Oh no. <sighs> and she's happy right now. Yeah. And it actually was for her. But do you think Toga will like it? <laughs> D yes, actually showing way. gratitude? Yep, the only way. Made you a little thing. God, there's so many ways this can be misconstrued. Oh, I know. The single tear. Oh, wow. oh my god. She's gonna get hurt so bad. Oh, she is, but I'm happy that she's happy now, and I'm happy that, holy shit, so much spice is gonna go down. What, what spice do you think is gonna happen? He is, no. He's Sionji! No, no, not that kind of spice. Just... Shit getting wild. <laughs> mm. Oh, Anthe, oh, also, okay. Also, yeah. So is he so far in the closet that he doesn't even realize he likes Toga? I mean, I thought right he was, now... He knew. I thought he knew. Well, right now, maybe he's, he's talking with a girl right now. Right. And also, he was very specifically trying to go after Anthe. That's true. You know. Well, there it is. All right. Fuck. And, and yeah, there's Wakaba. the motivation to go after Anthe. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I can't imagine Wakaba fighting Utena. That just breaks my heart. I think I had already blocked out the memory, like, a memory that didn't exist from my mind of like, ah, no, clearly she had just... Whoa! Whoa! Oh! 
So he's not dead. He's in purgatory. <laughs> well, he's out of high school, therefore... <laughs> but he's not actually dead, so, you know... Well, because he's on campus, see? <laughs> right, that's why it's purgatory. <laughs> mm, you could be a proper duelist. You could be a proper professional Join slapper. Me. Yeah. And together, we will slap all the women. <laughs> you know, you can get paid to slap people, you know. Wait, really? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's so evil. That's so evil. Well, here we go. And Utena also spends more time with her than you. Not that, you know, you're jealous of that, but... What was that thing, then? His ring, maybe? Maybe his ring? <clears throat> <laughs> oh, whoa. Yep, so then she, she pulls the sword the, out of him. The sword out of him, yeah, yeah. But he actually looks like he's on on point to get his hair back together, or his oh. life back together. Wow. Oh shit. Yep, there she is. Ah, uh, of course that's the thing that's on the tables. She can't do it. That's a cool uniform, though. Uh -huh. It's got the green of Sionji a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not even a flinch. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Wow. Oh, yeah, and she was totally in denial of it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh shit! Disarmed and done. Yeah, just like that. But didn't even need to uh, use. Oh, like a dance. Mm -hmm. Like a. I'm sorry, oh, girl. Beautiful. Oh, that fucker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Ha. But then, okay. Now the question is, yeah, was his happened? change of character 
just as a result of being forced into a situation like that, will he revert as soon as he's back? Empty home. Yeah. No, Kairi. Yeah. No. It's like when Nanako's gone in P4, and you're just like... <laughs> It's oh. so, it feels so wrong to make that comparison, but yes, it, yeah. yeah. Oh, and she says it herself to nobody. Oh, fuck. Of course, she talks to herself, don't you know? Oh, right, it's the whole window thing. Yeah. Yeah. It was very difficult to muster the willpower to shrug off the mind control long enough to do the skit after, uh, after Utena found the dual request oh, in her locker, God. you know? She was like, no, no, but it's, it... It's my thing. I have to do it. Ah. Uh. But the the skittering Sayongji across the floor. I'm still not entirely sure that was Sayongji. Like, <laughs> just because, like, wait, he acted so completely differently than what we've seen. Well, it's just the idea that there's a lot of things that um, Soji and Mamiya are manipulating. Okay. 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 Nice. That was uh, a. Um, he's back. Yeah. He's now officially back. Back. He's mm -hmm. not just on campus. He's on school nope. grounds now. Uh huh. Fun little distinction there. Um, I loved the joke about him being in purgatory. Very, very on the nose. <laughs> because when you are out of school, you're dead. You're dead to the story. That's just the way it works. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Wakaba then keeping him at her place. Yep. In a way that obviously he was really appreciative of. Right. Because he's probably got his own like shame or guilt or at the very Worries, least just negative insecurities. Yeah, and negative et thoughts and stuff about mm -hmm. the whole situation that he yep. kind of stays here and he doesn't want to be known that he's here. But right. did he ever actually care about her? Who's to say at this Who's point? Who's to say? He did he did work very hard at something that he probably sucked at to just be like, I have to find something to show that I do appreciate this because I don't have anything else. Yeah, it just feels it just feels hyper convenient to have this thing mm. that he made. Yeah. Then be a thing that, that ends up in Auntie's ends up hair. In Auntie's hair without her prop that, seemingly knowing. Exactly. A person that uh uh Mamiya and Soji are wanting to kill. Have repeatedly tried to kill. And, and in fact, at the end of this episode here, she was legitimately terrified of, oh god, oh god, Utina, pull the sword out now. Right. It's just it just leans more and more into the supernatural aspects of uh we have beings in this school mm -hmm. that are playing games with yep. all the other students mm -hmm. and even have the Rose Bride who they want to kill, right? But they have to do it in the dual space because if they can just plant something on Utena, they can't just kill her that way. So right, it's the right. whole thing of where I don't buy their, their we're trying to kill her, well, they're trying to enact their own ritual. You can't have murder in this show, it's no, an no, anime. But, no, no, but you that's know, the you... thing is that there, there is a, there is a, there is a style to this show mm -hmm. that shows that the m maniacal Machiavellian mind of the mm -hmm. creator of this story actually is putting things into specific yes. places for big results. Uh -huh. And the fact that this was so blatantly done means that there's something wrong about the way that Anthe was utilized at that point in the I'm story. Guessing, I'm guessing she was an unwitting accomplice because, you know, they they figured out a way to get it to her in a way that, you right. know, she'd be like, oh, cool, you which, know. Which means then, if that's the case, then they are not just wanting to kill her. They it bribed is, Choo Choo. No, it is a specific thing that is being done so that when she's in this space and they do a duel, uh -huh. it's not just they want to kill uh, Anthe. They have to have Utena be beaten as a duelist as well. Like, there there has to be some element of this ritual that they are, they are restricted by. Yeah, they really should have just, like, they should have, <laughs> if they've been trying to do this this whole time, they really should have struck when uh, when Sionji was the duelist. Well, that's my point: is that there's there's a progression here that we're not being made aware of. There's a there's a there's an underlying mm -hmm. story that is connecting all these things that yeah. we have not been made aware of mm -hmm. that makes this actually make sense because that's the kind of show this is. It, and it, yet, at the same time, we get the oh, we haven't seen Sionji in a while. Let's show him, and he's a completely different person, and we aren't yeah. shown any of the ways of how yeah. he got here, other than just. Uh -huh. 
because of the previous situation being uh-huh. really tough, I guess he changed. Yeah. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. Yeah, and I, now he's a comedic character. Yeah, I, I will. I would say that he has not changed. He is putting on a front because he is very appreciative of the space that he's being allowed here. Yeah, this very Wakaba. much. This very much feels like the um, uh, the 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 bad the bad ex, right? That's like, oh, but I've changed, right? Because they have, because they they have been forced to essentially. Yeah. But it's not actually a change that they they choose for themselves and that runs deep. And so, mm-hmm. you know, maybe he's all he's he's being great and stuff when when Wakaba's taking care of him. But the real test will be in the next episode mm-hmm. of how he is at school and when the we one see him back in his element. Exactly. And the one like description that we got of him is what was it, cocky or proud or or, or whatever it was. When um at the end when he like walks back onto school and the and oh, the girls are like oh, watching him. Yeah, yeah. Let me yeah. bring that up here. It it very much was not the uh, um, pretty smug. smug. Yeah, that is that does not mm-hmm. seem to me like the kind of person who has uh, gotten their ego in check, shall we say? Yeah, we'll we'll yeah we'll have to we'll have to see because the mm-hmm. the the elements that brought about his return are strange, mm-hmm. and this is a world with supernatural elements in it. Right. So there's a possibility, there's a possibility that this is also not our Sionji. There is something that has been altered or changed about yeah, him in some dramatic way. Well, and the other thing that I think is so, kind of odd yeah. here, and maybe this is just a, maybe this is something that was always this way, but uh-huh. I always figured that the way that he interacted with Anthe was more about a sense of possessiveness because you're yep. mine, you're the Rose Bride, uh-huh. I own you. Yeah. Not actually because he had any kind of emotional attachment to her, and the emotional attachment was to Toga, but he didn't know what to do about that, right? Because he was in the closet. Yeah, I think it's that. Well, I mean, yes, I think I think that this show is then again still a show that was made a while ago, so they might not be willing to commit all the way with Sionji. Go hard on the on the non-straight. Well, yeah, there there angle. also could be uh, more specific homophobia towards male on male relationships than women on women. Specifically. I would not be surprised. And I would not be surprised with that. Uh-huh. Um, but specifically, the idea that uh, Anthe might have been his his key, the idea that if he can just if he can just actually like ah, that's his way to guarantee a place at Toga's side. Yeah, you yeah. Know? or or have it have a place in this world just in general. Sure, right. And having that being taken away was like a child having their toy stolen. Sure, and if he ties so much of his identity into that mm-hmm. position, then that yeah. would also explain why he would get so frustrated specifically with Anthe and mm-hmm. slap her around and stuff. Yeah. When we haven't really seen, I believe, him do that with anyone else, mm-hmm. right? Because then it's not just you're someone who I own and so mm-hmm. you should be doing what I say. Yeah. But it's the, no, you are jeopardizing everything that I am because yeah. you are misbehaving, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I, but yeah, yeah. This was a this is a very violent upshift mm-hmm. or not upshift. Um, um, upheaval. Upheaval. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Of the um, uh, of the status quo yes. to bring Sionji back. Um, we saw a very overt um a bit of controlling from Soji or mm-hmm. Mikage as uh Sionji called him to yeah. kind of show their maybe their formality a little bit. But that there is crossover in like not just Mickey running mm-hmm. into him that one time. Exactly. But like these people know each other. There is mm-hmm. interaction that happens because of their positions that they had at the school. And he was like shocked slash scared of him. Yeah. That like Sionji showed not just surprise that Soji was there. But also, like, a little bit of fear. Uh-huh. And that that was actually where, like, that um, that scene is probably one of the most interesting scenes for me from a long-term perspective. Mm, because I agree, yeah. Um, we get a lot of the stuff in the episode. It's fun. It's funny. It's it's yeah. nice to see Wakaba doing great. You know, <laughs> all of that stuff. dramatic fall. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Like, all of these things where it's like, okay, this is this is wonderful. But the big elephant in the room, the big yeah. question is what's the deal with Sionji, right? Yeah. And so seeing like ways that he performs when um, Wakaba isn't is around, around. Yeah. is then very important. Mm-hmm. And the fact that he reacted in that particular way to Mikage, mm-hmm. that is um, that doesn't answer the original question that I had, yeah. but it opens up new questions. It opens up new questions, and it, yeah. 
and I, 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 I love that. Right. Like, that's that's great. Mm-hmm. That's great. If you can take this character that was the most despised character for me in the show that made it oftentimes very hard for me to enjoy the show because of their presence. Mm-hmm. And you actually are going to make it so that I can be invested in what the show is going to end up deciding to do with them as a character. Great. Good stuff. Great. Like that's, that's ballsy. And mm-hmm. it's also oh, like, yeah. necessary if you're going to have him be brought back. Exactly. Such a, because him being removed from the story was in my mind, a very positive thing. It was a very positive thing, but I also felt like it happened too recently. Oh, like, yeah. like this is something where there's no, good strong reason for him to come back in the world if that makes sense and to have changed well well to have changed but that's what i mean by coming back is that mm-hmm. if he's if he's different in some ways that makes sense because the time skip can kind of be that right oh even though it would have been nice to see some of that even, even if it's in a montage nice to see that if he's yeah. secretly hiding at wakaba's place I can be like, oh, cool. That's why we weren't seeing or hearing anything from him. Yeah, but if he isn't changed, then that can make it be something that is very actively disinteresting because we saw yeah. how it went last time. If he hasn't changed, so what's the why are you wasting our time pretending back? it would be different? Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. he has to be different in some way, but the ways in which we are focusing on that he's different, I don't buy them. One, the, mm-hmm. the ways he's acting because he has a vested about. interest in behaving that way right but then also the kind of person who might be theoretically if we take some element of that the uh the emotions with how he's acting he seems vulnerable yes and which that's that's very that's very interesting because like because even if he's lying with some of the ways that he's presenting himself or or even he's still a scumbag yeah even if he's still a scumbag that vulnerability is is curious it's Mm -hmm. interesting yeah so having him getting getting some time in the next episode to maybe follow up on this will be will be really cool Mm -hmm. but yeah i am i am mega sus of the way uh the way anthe had the leaf on her head because that that doesn't feel that doesn't feel right if 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 anthe did that Mm -hmm. then your your thought and theory of Anthe being a lot more of a schemer than mm-hmm. we kind of initially let on for, yeah. makes a lot more sense here. Yeah. And I, I think, honestly, the way in which they've manipulated every single person to have that like oh, moment where they then mm-hmm. want to rip the sword out of their person that they love or care about has I've, I've loved every single one. This one was like, uh, uh. Uh, ping put thing that uh, done right like it was all done within the span of about like two and a half minutes and that i was like i this is way too overt it feels like if they're antagonists of the story in the world and stuff mm-hmm. they're being way too yeah. aggressive there's like well and um we've had a lot of other times where anthe was specifically it seemed either mm-hmm. unwittingly or actually because yeah. she was she was maybe a little like upset with someone mm-hmm. and she's poking them right yeah um she's had a part to play in the episodes and and oftentimes with how the duels end up happening right, right? Uh-huh. um but because that was something that felt still very disconnected from who th- how the people would become duelists from Anthe's point of view it could just be she doesn't like them so she messes with them or whatever right, right? then okay sure but if it's something like this then and and clearly she can't have the same motivations as they do because they want mm-hmm. to kill her but like and she was really scared that she was gonna die there and all that stuff Mm. you know maybe she's trying to get one over on them because she's like yeah i know that's what they're doing but i'm gonna plan around their plan or something i don't know well well, right so so like to to break it down just so you i I know you probably Mm. understand but just so you guys understand why i'm I'm maybe being a bit paranoid about this is there are some times where anime will or stories in general will do this it's not just an anime thing we'll just layer conveniences on top of conveniences on top Mm. of conveniences and eventually you end up going the, ah, well, it's just narrative convenience. You go actually back around the other way and you loop all the way back around to, no, this is a scheme. Like there's too much convenience uh-huh. and then it doesn't break it from a meta perspective. It more of makes you go, oh, this isn't immersion breaking. This goes all the way back around to, no, the the, the characters in the story are having to actually manually stack the conveniences because right. the, one that, the one that actually like always... Like doesn't bug me, but it kind of makes me feel that this world is more supernatural is the way in which 
people will just naturally bump into each other and see things that mm-hmm. are generally just that's just the way things go in story for the purpose of making things right. happen that could but, be the way that the day of their lives is cut for to make for an engaging episode exactly but the yeah. idea that anthe would then not be aware of this for one when it's made of wood it's when not it's like some wood. paper thing yeah, or whatever exactly yeah. two walk past wakaba exactly in yeah, the time when yeah, she did yeah. have it uh-huh uh-huh not also then know that you know while right. she's walking you know past it there when uh yeah uh, when wakaba okay. clearly sees it now and right you know auntie doesn't like like mm-hmm. like make well, any make so any attention to one to thing that i do want to bring there. up but then it's also never mentioned later in uh, the episode correct. yes so one thing I do want to mention, just for the sake of it being brought up, mm-hmm. is the idea that uh, before we got all of the awesome stuff that we've gotten with Anthe in in the more second half of what we've seen of the show so far, for a little bit with um, uh, in oh sorry in, in, in the very beginning of the show, the primary way that she was introduced was actually as being kind of an airhead and just sort of like like a bit of a weird girl, right? She's got the uh, weird taste. Yes. She has all she the, has animal the animals friend. in her. Yeah, the little animal friend, all the other animals or the in, little like, you know, animal doll things in her things closet. Collects, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. It's, it's very much just like the, she doesn't really fully fit in, but she's no. got her own little world and she's very happy with it. Yeah. Plants and stuff being also being kind of a part of that. If they're leaning into that aspect of her character, which granted we haven't actually seen in a while, then I could buy that where it's the thing of the, Either she was very easily guided to discover this thing and be like, oh, this is a cool hair thing, you know, that I can put in there. Yeah. Or literally someone just put it on her hair, right? And she didn't realize it. Or yeah. or they put some they put some food on it that Choo Choo would like really like, and so Choo Choo grabs it, you know, and Okay. Yes, that's that's a great point. But yes, we have adjusted her characterization since that point in the show. Exactly. We're not focusing on that. Two, the other thing is that we actually have seen in some ways the manipulation as to how they've done it be played out, whereas this one, it's just shown and it's done. And uh, in, in some ways, yeah. that makes me think she's very much aware. And maybe all those other times it. that it seemed like she had good excuse to not be aware. Maybe, maybe we have to rethink yeah, those. Yeah, maybe we have to rethink those because mm-hmm. if we start adding things together... The yeah. repetition in this show is important. Anything mm-hmm. that gets repeated, anything that gets doubly emphasized, yeah. isn't just for the sake of saving time. It is something that the story... It's that and it's that two and or three other things. Exactly. Yeah. Right, and, right. And in the case of this one in particular, mm-hmm. it very much gives me the vibe, as far as its overtness, mm-hmm. to be the kind of thing where if you are foreshadowing something, if you have some mystery mm-hmm. that you're building up, you have a bunch of breadcrumb trails yep. where people could see them, but they'll easily dismiss them. Mm-hmm. And then it gets more and more obvious as it goes on. And then eventually yep. there's one where it's like, okay, that's... That's just... That's... Yeah. This you know, is either like, that or this is one or two before that. Right, like, exactly. like, there could be a perfectly great explanation for this, but we didn't see it in the episode, and it could have totally been shown in the episode. Now, maybe there's production reasons or whatever why that I didn't don't think, happen. But, I don't think that's the case. I think that these. I think that this show has its own, you know, kind of limitations as to what it can be as right. a presentation standpoint, but it is an mm-hmm. anime original story, right? Yes. Or, uh, no, no, it's not. No, it's no. not? No, there is a manga. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. I'm getting this confused with something else then. Right. There okay. were there were a fair bit of uh, adjustments and changes from the manga. Okay. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yeah, but but, yes. It, but it I, is... I remember I, I had this exact same confusion like like eight episodes ago or something yeah. like that. But yeah. Also, okay. that would have been a really funny bit as a joke to throw in there if you did have it be something where they put some food for Choo Choo on there and then they leave it out. And or like, yes, or, or even it. just or even just sneak it on in some way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but no, no. <laughs> Little I, claw machine hand things. You know? Yeah, I think it. I think it points as to some element of Auntie's character in the same way that Auntie had the interesting kind of look back at mm-hmm. the window. Um, in yeah, one, like a couple episodes. I ago. mean, hey, who knows? Maybe that was balsa wood, and it's just super, super light. You know, and and I mean, we don't know what product Auntie puts in her hair. You know, maybe it just is the perfect cushion that it's just sitting there and she just and then she walked exactly she past, just doesn't know it, you know, her going the opposite direction. It's, it's at a very specific. Time OK, during it the might day. be a rich as fuck school where like you know it's giant Wait and everything. But let's no, persona this shit. Other no, let's per- hold on. Let's persona this shit. OK, if Wakaba was walking away from the school, right, because she was headed 
She if, was headed, if a swallow leaves its nest flying this no, no, due no, no, east. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Did she just come from her place, or did she, or is she heading back to her place? This is actually uh, very important. She went to the store to get some food. Yeah, she's leaving the school or leaving the the area where she got food, going back home. Uh huh. Then we see him, uh, Sayonji here. He makes the deal with Soji. And then he's like, oh, all I had to do was give him oh, that one thing. Nope. So then from oh, yeah, there, no. hmm. this then has, because uh, I thought there was Anthe a going past. Anthe yeah. going past, probably going back right. to school. Because so maybe, maybe, maybe there's an element of where this is part of her going to Akio. Uh, it could be going to Akio. I will also say there is an easier everyone solution. Everyone has their own time slots and where they spend <laughs> no, them. Right. But there's an easier solution that they could have had here uh -huh. is they could have just said, hey, Sionji, we want that thing. I was uh -huh. going to give it to somebody. I was going to give it to Wakaba. And cool. then you could have him do something where he's like, well, oh, I thought you liked Anthe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it to Anthe then. You should, you should really give it to Anthe. And then he's like, oh, you know, and then they convince him to do it. And then that way, that's why Anthe's there. You know, he's like, oh, can you come over here? I'm hiding at Wakaba's place for some reason. Uh, don't tell anybody, but I've been living here. Here's this thing for you because I've always loved yeah. you. I don't know. You know, and then that's how it happens. Of course, that would have introduced all kinds of other character questions for Anthe and Sionji and all that stuff. Right. But that at least would have explained the, the little leaf being there and Anthe walking past and all that. But, you know, like, because there's, there's the element of this where I think it is absolutely narrative convenience for the sake of com compacting it into a nice little one episode package. But wait, there's more. But you know, wait, right? Like, the, the, it's. Mm. I also yeah. want to bring up something here that Sionji does say as he's like, okay, cool. I'm not going to live here forever. Okay. Yeah. Systems go. Yep. Kyochi Sionji sets course for a new age of glory. He has not changed at all. Yeah. He has not changed at all. And that's, I think. That, that's in some ways my confirmation that he was holding back that part of himself to be like, now I can be full Sionji. Well, right. It's all the. Systems um, go. Well, it's the. Uh, uh, um. You know, you need to let go of these feelings of shame. But I'm not sh shamed. I'm as proud as ever, you know? Okay. Oh, yeah. That, that's why we can have the jokes of him scurrying back into the, like, under the bed. Because he's still proud as Because he's ever. still proud as fuck, and yeah. so he can't let anyone see him here. Yeah. Right? That's, that's, Even that's though he still point, is yeah. a, enough of a human being to be able to show appreciation and decency to the person who has been helping him, <laughs> even though he was yeah, absolutely cruel to them for no reason. But, oh All my right. god, Sionji's back. Sionji's back. And y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel where I'm playing a Persona 5 Royal Let's Play uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And yeah, if anything that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.